but we hear so much, I think, about ketamine and S-ketamine, and it's become so popular, not just for treatment-resistant depression, but certainly in this category of treatment-resistant depression. So tell us about those, how they work, and what they might mean for the mechanism, and how effective they are. Yeah, so we'll start with ketamine because it's a very old drug. It's actually it was approved by the FDA back in 1970 as anesthetic for surgical procedures. So it is an anesthesia medication. It can induce a feeling of dissociation, sort of out-of-body experiences, uh, floating or uh, disconnection. And so it's called a dissociative anesthetic. It's not technically a psychedelic. So approved a long time ago as a form of anesthesia. It's never been FDA approved for the treatment of any psychiatric condition. However, once a drug is FDA approved for anything, doctors are then allowed to use that drug for other purposes if there's good reason to do so. And it's been known for a long time that people who receive ketamine who have depression often will see their depression improve very quickly. And so ketamine, particularly IV, intravenous ketamine, which is the most effective form of ketamine, that has been shown in many studies and in clinical practice to be rapidly effective for treatment-resistant depression, 30% remission rate within one day after the first treatment. 